We are into the next step. We double checked. If you didn't do this yesterday, just double check. Set your torque wrench to 194 and just go around. Make sure that you count seven bolts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you go around and you check those torques on them all, just to make sure from the day before. All right, now we have the gear reduction in, okay? We have to manage this gear reduction, so we have the gear reduction gasket, we have the gear reduction cover, we have the gear reduction gears, so this one goes on the end over here, this one goes inside over here. I'm going to just put these on for a second, just so you can see what they're looking like. And this one here, the spline, goes on the outside. But we can kind of see how these gear reductions work. This one's going to go in here and be on the drive shaft. Okay? Again, they got bearings on them, but we got metal to metal, so we need to do some assembly lube. So we're gonna do some assembly lube on the end of the crankshaft. This is called splines. This here. It's not, remember if they came off kind of tough, they might go on a little rough too. So the splines, there is not splines on this side, but there's splines right out to the outside edge on this side. You want to go the splines to the out, and if it doesn't slide on real easy, take it off, rotate it a few teeth, rotate it, check it to see if you can get it to slide on nice and easy. Okay? Then, some of the tools we need. We need a flange bolt. This is one of the few flange bolts that's this length. It does not have, you'll see the longer flange bolts that hold the cover on are right here. So you can see the difference. This flange bolt goes on with the washer, big thick washer, and goes on the end. Again, I'm threading this by hand, not being careful, I mean being careful, not not being careful. If it doesn't start, back it out until you feel it click. There I felt those teeth of that thread engage. So I went backwards, I went forward. Now, this we have to torque on, but if you look, when I'm turning this, it's turning the crankshaft. I can't torque it on because it's turning the crankshaft. So this is one of the few times we will use the impact gun. We're going to put the impact gun so that the arrow pointing forward is going forward. Just double check. I put it on one speed down here. Just toggle through the speeds. Get it on one. Short burst. One, two, Three. Now we've tightened that up. So now you can see it was rotating a little bit, but we had some tightening going on there. I dropped the gasket. So that's tightened up. I'm going to put this gear in next, put a little of assembly lube around it. As we have been doing, real light assembly lube, put a little bit around where that end goes in. Oh, I apologize. Look at that. I can't get this gear in there. I forgot that gear stops me. So now I got to get this gear in. Big gear meshes with this big gear over here. Put a little assembly lube on that. Get a little assembly lube up here. We had that on. And now again, rotate. You see a dry spot coming up in the gear? 
Put a little more assembly lube on it. And again, I'm using the cut proof gloves. If you don't use the cut proof gloves when you're doing this rotation, you're going to have a problem. All these gears are super sharp. Any pinch point in there, pinches your skin in there, opens you up pretty good. So we got that part done. Now comes our two dowel pins. 14 millimeter long dowel pins. Just like before, I look for these little holes that don't have threads in them. There's one down here. There's one up here. They don't go in nice and easy. Put a little assembly lube on them. It doesn't hurt them. Got to put a little assembly lube on the two ends of these pins that are going to be fitting through the holes here. Those are sometimes called journals. Right here, a journal is something that rides on another shaft. And then this one here is a little bit tricky figuring out which way it goes. Actually mine here, if you look, it's got a tear on it. I'm not going to fill mine with oil. But I always look for these three that are close together. Those go in the bottom left. And these two that are close together go up to the top. Get that in place. Dropping, dropping stuff. A little tip for you is I just put a little assembly lube behind that just a touch. And it kind of makes it sticky a little bit. Now, this hole has to go on that journal. That's going on that journal. Again, just like before, you kind of wiggle it in place. And it slides together. Look and check and make sure my gasket stayed in place. It's not sticking out anywhere. And this one takes six of those flange bolts. One. Two, three, four, five. And six. So I put them in by hand with the screwdriver. Do not use this to tighten them up. This will strip them out guaranteed. And then you will be doing a helicoil repair and we don't want to do that. Again, setting our torque wrench. It's at 17 foot-pounds, which is 204 inch-pounds. So we go up to 200, we back it off six. So that's at 180 plus 14, which is 194. To make us 204. I'm gonna slide this back a little bit. I'm gonna slide this out to the edge again. And again, I like pushing down. Get it halfway there. Go crisscross, get it halfway there, go crisscross. Get it halfway there, halfway there, halfway there. Halfway there. Come up. Go until I hear the click. Nice and easy. Slow, slow, slow. Click. Boom. Slow, slow, slow. Nice and easy. Click. Boom. See how nice and slow I'm going? You go too fast on this. You end up with problems. Let 
here's my last one, I think. Yep. Then I go around one last time. One. Put my finger on it to count it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And I got all six of those. And I got, if you remember what we do every single time, we rotate until we see two full revolutions or two up and down of the piston using these cut proof gloves so we don't cut our hands when we're doing this. That is how we put the gear reduction assembly back on.